Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model Y converted into green hydrogen car to show hyper-hybrid innovations. Tesla Cybertruck's hardware 4.0 computer will be built by Samsung, according to reports. And Tesla CEO Elon Musk is confident that the chip shortage will be solved soon. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. German Federal Research Minister Anja Karliczek recently unveiled an example of a hyper-hybrid vehicle powered by synthetic methanol, which is based on green hydrogen technologies. But, while the idea to produce a climate-friendly car is admirable, the vehicle Germany used for the project was quite questionable. This was because the Federal Research Minister's team opted to use a Tesla Model Y, an all-electric vehicle, that is, in many ways, already the pinnacle for efficiency and sustainability. Simply put, Germany took a perfectly working battery electric vehicle, modified it with a synthetic methanol engine, and dubbed it as a work of true innovation. Karlicek, for his part, noted in a press release that such a project is incredibly important, since green hydrogen is a valuable building block for climate protection. The federal research minister said, climate protection can only succeed with green hydrogen. That's why we are already providing massive support for research into the use of green hydrogen, although efforts will have to be stepped up again in the coming years. Especially in industry and transportation, we will continue to need chemical energy sources in the future. Not all industrial processes can be completely decarbonized. CO2 will continue to be produced. We need solutions for this. The Federal Research Minister further said, Today we are building a very interesting bridge between these two points, the use of methanol from recycled CO2 from industry as a fuel in road transport. But the methanol car itself is also an innovation showcase for low emission, resource and energy efficient mobility of tomorrow. Synthetic fuels have an important role to play in making a sustainable, climate-friendly mobility system possible worldwide. This is important in shipping and air travel, or where a charging station for the electric car may not always be available in the future. Especially there, the serial hybrid drive can be a good solution in perspective. Speaking about the Hybrid Model Y project, Professor Robert Schlagel, director of the Max Planck Institute for Chemical Energy Conversion and Carbon-2 Chem Project Coordinator, noted that the hybrid technologies used in the initiative present a great synergy between two systems, the efficient electric drivetrain and the easily accessible synthetic fuel methanol. The professor said, the urgency of climate protection requires a rapid and comprehensive entry into renewable energy. In a global market for renewable energy, carbon-based energy sources such as methanol are key building blocks. The serial hybrid drive concept presented here combines the advantages of the efficient electric drive and the energy-dense and easily accessible synthetic fuel methanol. This concept must be further optimized by the research project presented here. The hybrid Tesla Model Y is part of the Carbon-2 CAM initiative, which aims to reduce CO2 emissions in the steel industry. The vehicle is a concept built to showcase how methanol is recycled. The Oberst Engineering worked with the Technical University of Munich, the Technical University of Dresden, and the RWTH Aachen to create the vehicle. About 10 million euros were estimated to have been spent on the methanol-powered Tesla Model Y. That being said, Oberst Group CEO Frank Wolf remained proud of the project's end result. Wolf said, our hyper-hybrid powertrain whose zero vibration generator produces electricity with green methanol is an essential innovation for globally deployable, efficient, and emission-neutral e-mobility, in other words, a car with green liquid electricity in the tank. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck's hardware 4.0 computer will be built by Samsung, reports suggest. Recent reports have indicated that Tesla's hardware 4 computer which would make its debut in the Cybertruck, would be produced by Samsung Electronics. The world-leading chipmaker is reportedly certain to beat out its rival, the larger Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, for the Tesla Hardware 4.0 deal. 
The information was related to the Korea Economic Daily by people reportedly familiar with the matter. According to the publication's sources, Tesla and Samsung's deal is virtually completed. This would allow the South Korean chipmaker to expand its reach into the growing electric and autonomous vehicle segment. Tesla and Samsung's foundry divisions have been working on the design and samples of the chip from the start of this year. Recently, Tesla decided to outsource the hardware 4.0 self-driving chip to Samsung. It's virtually a done deal, one of the publication's sources stated. Tesla's hardware 4 chip would reportedly be produced at Samsung Electronics, Hwasang plant in South Korea. Samsung would also be using 7 nanometer processing technology to create Tesla's new FSD computer, and initial production may begin around Q4 2021 at the earliest. Interestingly enough, Samsung is also the company that produces Tesla's hardware 3 computer, which is being fitted in the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y today. While 7 nanometer chips are not as advanced as 5 nanometer chips, Samsung reportedly opted to use the technology to ensure higher and more stable production yields. This suggests that Tesla is looking to produce vehicles at volumes never seen before and that the company's next releases would be high-volume cars. The Tesla Cybertruck and the $25,000 car would likely be the first of this. Tesla and Samsung agreed on the 7 nanometer process to ensure the safety of Tesla's next-generation electric vehicles, another source noted. Tesla's hardware 4 computer was formally announced during AI Day when Elon Musk noted that the new self-driving computer would be released for the Cybertruck. Musk stated that while hardware 3.0 is likely capable of performing 300% safer than a human driver, hardware 4.0 would likely be 1000% safer. Moving to the last update, Tesla CEO Elon Musk is confident that the chip shortage will be solved soon. Tesla CEO Elon Musk disclosed that he is confident that the chip shortage is going to be solved in the short term, despite many disagreeing. The pandemic has resulted in an increased demand for many electronics and computers that the supply chain couldn't handle, especially the semiconductor industry. This microchip shortage, in turn, affected the automotive industry, which has increasingly become a big consumer of microchips. Several automakers had to halt production until chip supply could catch up. Pat Gelsinger, CEO of Intel, one of the biggest semiconductor companies, recently said, that it could take a couple of years for the industry to catch up to the surging demand. Earlier this year, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that it is affecting Tesla, but he believes it's not a long-term issue. When discussing Tesla's performance this quarter, Elon Musk said that Tesla's current biggest challenge is the supply chain issue, especially microcontroller chips. Recently, at a tech conference in Italy, Musk again commented on the timeline and claimed that it should be fixed by next year with new factories coming up. The CEO's outlook is more optimistic than several other industry leaders who see the issue lasting up to 2023. Reports also suggested that Tesla also said it managed to contain the problem during the first quarter by switching to new microcontrollers. Some reports also suggested that Tesla even considered buying its own chip factory to address the issue. If Elon Musk's words prove to be true, it could be a huge relief for Tesla, as well as the whole auto industry. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.